Hi, I'm Tim from AppsToShutter.com and today we're going to fix your Samsung TV that is not connecting to Wi-Fi. So we've got 13 fixes I'm going to briefly cover. If you want more detail on all of them, then that is in the article, which is linked in this video's description below. So the most common reason why your Samsung TV is not connecting to Wi-Fi uh, is because it needs to be cold booted. So this is a very simple process, so just plug your TV in, switch it on. Then pull the plug out of the wall socket, wait a full 10 seconds, then plug your TV back in and try switching it on. You should get a red light on the front if you've been successful. You can also try power cycling it, so switching off and unplug your TV, then hold down the physical power button on the TV for at least 15 seconds. Wait for at least 30 minutes for any residual power to drain from the TV's capacitors, and then plug your TV back in and try switching it on again. If this hasn't worked, and if Wi-Fi is working on your other devices but not on your Samsung TV, then it could be an issue with your TV's IP and DNS addresses. So it's possible the IP address has been set to manual, uh, and the DNS settings could be conflicting between your TV and Wi-Fi router. So to fix this, press settings on your remote, then go to General, Network, Network Status, IP Settings. The IP settings should be set to Get Automatically, if not, you should change it to this. If it is already set to get automatically, um, and if the DNS setting is also set to get automatically, then just try changing the DNS to enter manually and use a DNS server of 8.8.8.8. .8 you should also make sure that your Wi-Fi password is correct, so just try forgetting your network on your TV and then re-entering your password, um, or using the WPS if you have that on your, on your TV and router. It's possible that your router has been set for MAC address filtering. Um, so, so if you or someone in your family has set this on at the router level, then your TV will not connect to the internet, even if it can connect to your Wi-Fi. So if you're seeing uh, an inability to connect to the internet on your TV, but it is connecting to the router, then try logging into your router's admin uh, IP address on your phone or your computer using a browser. Uh, it'll be something like 192.168.1.1. If you type that into your into your browser, then go to Advanced or Expert Settings and find Mac Filtering, and make sure this is switched off. You should also just make sure that there's no um, RF interference that could be blocking your Wi-Fi signal. Uh, so you you can try just putting in another device that does connect to the internet next to your TV. And if that is connecting, then you know that there's no problem with um, RF interference. If another device, such, such as your phone, placed next to your TV also can't connect to your router, then just try moving your TV closer to your router. It's quite common that uh, TV firmware problems can uh, keep your TV... If your TV keeps disconnecting from Wi-Fi, then, then it could be caused by a firmware issue. So updating the firmware is, is a good option. Most Samsung TVs will have auto-updating firmware on. Uh, just to check if yours is on, um, go to Settings on your TV and then Support and Software Update and check the auto-update is switched on. For older Samsung TVs, you, you might need to update the firmware by USB. and There's more details on how to do that in the linked article below. Within your Samsung TV settings menu, there is also an option to reset any connected networks. So that will cause your TV to forget the network's login details and it will no longer auto-connect. It's possible that there's an issue with your uh, 2.4 GHz or, or 5 GHz Wi-Fi channel that's causing your Wi-Fi to keep disconnecting. So if you log into your router, your router's admin IP address again, which is on 192.168.1.1 or similar. Um, and then just have a look at whether your TV is connected to the 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz channel. You can try setting your, your router to only broadcasting a 5 GHz or only broadcasting a 2.4 GHz channel. And you can also just try changing the Wi-Fi modes and the bandwidths that it's broadcasting on, particularly for older TVs. Um, the, the modern bands, bandwidths of uh, recent routers can cause problems with connection. You should also make sure that your TV's time and date is set correctly. Uh, this is because otherwise it can um, pass a lease expiration date 
uh, of the IP address that's set by your router. So these, so the IP addresses get given a lease expiration date several years in the future. If your TV is uh, not within this time period, uh, then it can cause your IP lease to expire and then your TV won't connect to the internet. So uh, just make sure your, your TV's time and date is up to date. If none of this has worked, then just try factory resetting your TV. Uh, so this will delete any personalization features, but it's uh, a good final step to take. So you can go to settings in general and privacy and reset, and your default pin should be four zeros. You should also try resetting your router. So your router uh, will have a, a little reset button recessed somewhere on the body. If you just push your paperclip into that and hold it for about 10 seconds. Uh, just in case there's any router settings that you've overlooked that could be causing your TV not to, to connect. If you can't get it working after all of this, then it's probably a problem with the Wi-Fi module within the TV. Uh, first of all, the, the easy solution is just to use an Ethernet cable and connect your TV on a wired connection to your router. If you can't do that, then try re replacing the Wi-Fi module. It will invalidate your warranty if you do it yourself, um, but it's a very easy step to take. The Wi-Fi modules are just a small board with um, a couple of connections to your TV's main board. And there's more details on how to do that in the linked article below.